you have to get over the initial shock that this is going to be something that you're going to have to live with. There's a lot of things that you cannot do, but you can't not eat. Yeah. And so when your child is not eating, it's like That's you are helpless. He had celiac disease and found out too late and ended up with lymphoma and passed away. We felt it was heartbreaking. It was it really heartbreaking. Was. Well, 25 years ago, I was in the Marine Corps. I was trained to kill people, and now I'm trained to keep people alive. Growing up as a kid, I was in and out of hospitals constantly, and nobody ever really knew what was wrong with me. I had multiple experiences where, and I'm sure you have, you go to places and you say, like, does that have such and such in it? Yeah. And they just don't know. When I was diagnosed with celiac, I was devastated because all of the things that I loved eating were now taken out of my diet. I was always felt isolated and ridiculed mm. and all these things and you know a lot of that led to a terrible eating disorder. I'm allergic to wheat, rye, barley, chicken eggs, dairy, soy and corn. Not that bad, right? I met so many incredible people through my travels that have shown me that I'm not alone, but there's a whole community of people who have stories to share and tips on how to live. Finally, when the, uh, the gluten-free baker moved in across the street, it was a godsend. And he has now been working with us to even replicate our regular bread. We just had a client contact us. Uh, they were a chain restaurant and they just contacted us and they said, we heard about this lawsuit. We wanted we want to do gluten free and we want to do it correctly. Can you help us? We make gluten free, worry free. What you're doing is is really beautiful. Right. And you know, again, like it all comes back to, you know, I come here and I feel really comfortable because I do see how much you care. Food makes people feel good. You know, why would you want to spend money on something that's not going to make you feel good? It's really rewarding. People come in. They you know their child has yeah. never had a birthday cake because they can't have yeah. egg or because they can't have gluten or, or everything, you know. So they can have anything in the store. These little kids, I mean, you yeah. wouldn't believe. You have to be an advocate. You have to speak up for yourself. That's the only way that you can get the gluten-free foods in places that don't already have it, to understand what celiac disease and being on a gluten-free diet is. Yeah. To talk to family members and friends and people in your day-to-day -day life about what you need to do to have as normal a life as possible. Within people in our community, it's like we are normal, but yes. we're just, it's a different type of it's normal. It's a different type of normal. Everybody else is just And different. I forget now because yeah. it's so, yeah. it's been so long, but 10 years ago. Disconnected. I, w I wasn't, I was like. <laughs> Take dairy out of my diet. What do you mean? You know, yeah, like exactly, I had no yeah. idea that that could even be something. I didn't. Yeah. I just really didn't know. But now it's like, I mean, it's great. Like so many yeah. more people are, are getting educated about it. It's great. I think more and more people, especially lately, are realizing what's been available is not beneficial. If you're gluten free, allergy free, whatever free QR, this is free of everything except for flavor. She's like, I feel bad for gluten-free people. But it's not about feeling bad, it's about feeling empowered. It's like giving someone an ax, you know, and like letting them chop down a tree in the forest so they can build a house for themselves. But you can't have dairy, no. nor cheese, nor gluten, huh? Yes. Yeah, You're uh, still fighting along. That's God bless you. <laughs> Dude, I got no choice. Food's my life, so you gotta That's just great. go with it. Just because you can't eat the things that you love doesn't mean you can't learn to love the things that you can eat. We can all change the world together. I would never guess that this would be something that I could eat. I would look over at people and get like kind of like that envious kind of feeling a little bit where I'm like, little bastards. Kind of like, <laughs> but now I am that bastard. <laughs>